guys, welcome back to Read Talk. Read it Talk. Today, I'm so happy and then so feel grateful because I miss um, big band here and then so amazing. Okay. The, here we are, Jeremy and Ben. <laughs> for first, uh, thank you so much for Kiosk Bar and then uh, Palazzo Versace Hotel in Dubai. Thank you for this amazing place, beautiful yeah. place and a beautiful, beautiful yeah. bar and lounge. You know what, I'm so nervous because look at them. <laughs> Really? So handsome, so cute. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> okay, hi okay. Jeremy, and then how are you guys? Doing awesome. Great. awesome. Great, right? How are you? I'm really good. good. Thank you so much. No problem. And then all of you have a good smile, so make me so happy today. <laughs> okay, come on, please introduce you about yourself and then your band, please, Jeremy. Oh, no problem. Well, hello, everybody. My name is Jeremy Isaac. I am the current residency artist for the Palazzo Versace Hotel. To my left is Vortex, the band. But, yeah. This guy right here is the craziest guitarist like musician ever oh, no. let them know who you are let them know who you are yo hello guys my name is Zuck uh, yeah I play guitar I try I try yeah, I yeah. try playing guitar I'm from Kenya and uh, been here about two weeks and I'm mm -hmm. loving it the band is great it's just crazy yo. yeah yeah and my name is Emmanuel I'm the man behind the case I'm from Nigeria also so I've been here for quite a while now and we're just keeping the Dubai people entertained, so, so far so good. Yeah. Uh, my name is Caleb, I am the drummer. Yeah. Uh, so, I've uh, been in Dubai for about three years. Uh, it's an amazing space, amazing musicians, and definitely loving it here. So, thank you again for having me in Q's, and uh, it's a pleasure, always. You're welcome, because you know what? After I post on my Instagram about Jeremy showing this bar, his bar, and then a lot of my followers in Indonesia just curious about your band, Jeremy mm. and the band. And then they ask him, where is the cute bar? Because so beautiful this place about the bar, and then people just, <gasps> <laughs> and then now we have a good time with yeah. Jeremy and then and then team. So, um. Please, um, uh, people people really want to know about actually where you come from mm -hmm. for start uh, about the great the band. Well, I'm from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, mm -hmm. born and raised, and um, this opportunity brought me here to Dubai. Mm -hmm. um, our MD and creative director Dante Kennedy mm -hmm. actually, you know, formed us informed everything and he's the man behind everything and he's actually the the um md yeah. so yeah. you know without dante we wouldn't be here dante is a, as a, as a music director right dante okay. is the musical director so what, is. Uh, what genre genre yeah so we do so we you know when you think about cues it's marketed and promoted as just like a jazz spot mm -hmm. but we touch on everything so I don't think that we, there's no genre of music that we don't hit. From pop to, to R&B, to soul, to Motown. To Motown. Look, we even do a little bit of rap. Me rap, me rap, and I is a little weird, but you know I get through it. No, you know, so we we touch on everything. We try to we try to please everybody. You know what I've learned here, being in Dubai is there's so many different people coming from so many different parts of the world, and you have so many different cultures, and they desire so many different things. So 
for us to be able to come together and really just touch on every single thing musically and give everybody what they want and we still have a good time in the process is an amazing thing for me so kudos to dante for thinking the way he do and kudos to these guys for you know the work that they do and it's just an amazing thing so we touch on every channel How long have you been here in Dubai? I've been here in Dubai since May, so this is my third month here. So, what do you think about Dubai? I think it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> it's hot! It is so hot, okay? That's the first thing. But it's also very, very beautiful. Uh, the people here are amazing. And I really, I mean, when I first got here, it didn't make me feel homesick. Mm. It felt like home. So, you know, it's been an, a really, really amazing time. So how about you guys, about your uh, journey when you came to Dubai first time to come to Dubai? Oh, basically me, I've been in Dubai for almost six close years right now. So mm -hmm. I've been freelancing ever since I got here because music brought me to Dubai in the first place. So I've been doing music from back home, from Nigeria, mm -hmm. Lagos precisely. And then I uh, had a contract here in Dubai and that got me flown to Dubai. Mm -hmm. Then after the contract ended, I decided to stick around, you know, and travel back home and keep back again and then sing something. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Until I met my, my boss, Dante Kennedy, who brought me here and he also yeah. Yeah, put this thing together. And that's yeah, it. They, yeah. yeah, well, I was in Dubai last year uh, in uh, November. Mm -hmm. I played at the Dubai Expo with an Omani artist called Kanai Chenaki. Then uh, you know you go where the music takes you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did some research. Where can I find good music? You know. Yeah. Then uh, Google told me Cuba. Oh, so, Google. Yeah. <laughs> so when I came here, I met Dante, uh, my boss. So when I went back home, we've been planning this since December wow. last year. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> but then again, uh, the delay was in denial. So then and again, um, with time, uh, uh, Dante got me everything sorted out and everything. Yeah. So I came here about two weeks ago. So far, so good. I'm loving this. This mm. is what family is made of. Yeah. 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 I'm yeah. Loving yeah. It. And how about you? Well, as for me, I've been here for three years and uh, basically university brought me here. Mm -hmm. uh, but in the mix, I found music. Well, I have been playing drums for a longer time, but, uh, you know, I came over here. Uh, you know, at the beginning, I thought, you know, the scene in Dubai for music wasn't really there. Yeah. And I just had to really look. Because yeah. mm -hmm. when I did look, I realized there's a whole community of mm -hmm. musicians. Mm -hmm. Amazing people, by the way. Yeah. And, uh, uh, funny story how I met Dante. I, a friend of mine told me, "Oh, there is a there is a, a, a like a, an audition yeah. for him, not for anyone else." And so I came in. I just came with him to the audition because he's a bassist, yeah, yeah. and he just played. And all of a sudden, Dante was like, "Oh, is there any drummer? Let him just you know uh, uh, play a little bit while he watches." And in the process of playing, I broke a stick, yeah. and uh, in the middle of <laughs> Breaking a stick, Dante was really excited about this, and uh, <laughs> it was like, <laughs> it was like uh, might as well just come take my job. <laughs> and um, you know, from there, it just smooth sailing. And uh, thanks to Dante again for the opportunity. Yeah. And so far, it has been a good ride. Right? Oh, Dante, yeah. you are so kind, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah. I'm waiting for you. Yeah. <laughs> I, I will. Want, I, I'm sorry to say yeah. to Dante, you meet a lot of people who put on um, just being a nice person or yeah. Dante is exactly who he say he is and his energy, his character, yeah. his demeanor, who he say he is, he is exactly that person. So yeah. 
Yeah. He's a really, really That's dope really man. Good. He's a dope man. <laughs> this really is, is good for PS and music for that for, for um, music director for final mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. He has a good team here because this is important for um, people who love for about the jazz or something. Yeah. 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 Especially for us. <laughs> <laughs> so tonight, Jeremy and all of you guys. Uh, going for live performance here in mm -hmm. this bar, yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I cannot wait for um, to see your perform, yeah. Ooh. So I wanna ask him to you, Jeremy. Okay. Uh, what's your preparation before perform? Oh, okay. Uh, I am before sorry because before when I when first time I came here and he was so amazing mm -hmm. and I loved it so much. You know, I remember when you uh, sang the song about. Uh, Michael Jackson? Of preparation, I think that I am doing some vocal warm ups. Yeah. Just trying to make sure. I mean, we're working five nights a week, yeah. four hours a night, you know, so it's a lot. It's a lot of work. Um, for me vocally, but I know for them as well, we're, we're exuding a lot of energy. So for me, it's just a lot of mental work. Um, yeah. Knowing that people are coming here to forget their problems, you know what I mean? Yeah. I think more than anything, that's the biggest thing for me. So I don't care how I'm feeling. I know at the end of the night I can get some sleep. Mm -hmm. I know at the end of the night I'll be fine, but I want for the people that come here to have the best experience, yeah. um, whether it's just them needing to get away for a few hours and then they leave or whatever the case is, my preparation is doing some vocal warm-ups, drinking some tea and mentally preparing myself to just exude as much energy as I can. And we all do the same thing, so, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And how I love you guys. For me, just say a prayer and that's it. Come on. No, come no. on. Come on. Come on, because that's then, important. Let's see first before performance yeah, okay. or something. Before performance, uh, first thing I do, I always listen to the songs you play. Okay. Each and every day. Mm -hmm. Every day in the morning, when you come to my house, you'll find the songs play. Okay. Okay. Because I want to play better than I did yesterday. Yes. Ah, you know? that's yeah. Yeah. Yes. So every day I listen and, oh, there's something new, actually. You know, I get new ideas new things to play and because I need to share my energy with everyone. Mm -hmm. I need to show them, okay, I'm doing some work. Yeah. yeah. Then, as I said, a prayer is, yo, I have to pray. That's right. First thing I enter there, That's right. I sit in those two, That's right. Yeah. I just say a prayer. Yeah. And, uh, everything just goes smoothly and uh, I just love it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and then, how about you, uh, kids? Uh, for me, uh, <laughs> <laughs> for me is, uh, you know, just like my brother Jeremy has just said and uh, Zach, that's, that's uh, likely the same thing, you know. I just try to put uh, much positivity before I come on stage because music is spirit. Mm -hmm. uh, and whatever thing you, is how you feel, you know, whatever thing you're feeling instant, you give it out to the people, they mm -hmm. can relate to whatever uh, you play. Whatever you play on your finger as a pianist, like they want to, you know, like feel it, they must feel it. So. Uh, I just try to, you know, like give myself mental work and make sure that I'm in the right state of mind and uh, come to work happy, I guess, and have fun. Most importantly, yeah, music is fun. It's a fun job. So, yeah. every, since I've been here for three months, and you, every single night, have been happy. <laughs> <laughs> like every single night. You right. You right. He ain't telling the truth. <laughs> <laughs> And then, how about you, kids? <laughs> well, um, being a drummer, mm -hmm. uh, you could say, you know, there's a lot of energy being um, mm -hmm. exerted. Uh, mm -hmm. So, for preparations, I really just um, make sure I'm sort of warmed up, you yeah. know, because being a drummer, you cannot be stiff. Mm -hmm. So, usually, I tend to maybe walk around for a bit, try to get my body a bit hot. Uh, Keep that smile always yes, because yes. Yeah. you know the audience is always looking at you. Yeah. That's right. Mm -hmm. you know, after the music, there is your face. You mm -hmm. can't be angry. <laughs> <laughs> you really cannot be. So.
So um, uh, you have to share that energy, like they say, and uh, also keep some energy for yourself because yeah. if you get mm -hmm. too tired, yeah. you know, you kind of gas out. So mm -hmm. always be careful yeah. to keep energy for yourself. Mm -hmm. Also be able to share that energy. Mm -hmm. So definitely. Uh, like I said, it's, that's, that's what I do pretty much. <laughs> yeah, how about the song list? Do you prepare for a song list before the form or and then normally you change your song list every week? Mm -hmm. or? So, Dante, well all of us, we, we kind of have like an input on the songs that we want to do and we, we have a, a set list monthly so we change it by month. Um, but pretty much we pretty much organized and pretty much put on mm -hmm. the same show in terms of songs monthly but we're always engaging with the audience we're always they're always they're always throwing requests yeah. and most of the time we could accommodate the request because mm -hmm. I mean we know them which yeah. is you know the, the good thing I love having people or working with people that you're just on the same page they're musically incli inclined yeah. they have a catalog and, and, and just safe of music so we always know what's happening but we um change it by the month and um yeah okay I'll put to tell us uh, how do you feel perform for the first time in this bar and then uh, can you share your journey how you, how you can perform here for the first time oh the first time I was here mm -hmm. I felt like I was gonna go home the, the next week <laughs> I felt like I was gonna go home the next week. I did. I did. It was a bit shy. The first time. <laughs> I was so shy. It could not even relate to the crowd. <laughs> it was. It was so different because okay, I've been performing since I was seven. I've been working professionally since I was seven years old. So mm -hmm. performing is nothing. Like this is second nature. It's a second language. Like it's another language. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But it was just different. And then you're so you're in another country. You're so far away from home, from your family, and you there's so many different things that you're working out um, personally. Yeah. You know what I mean? That you, of course, you you turn on automatically and put that to the side to do your job. But at the same time, it's still so many different emotions that you're trying to work out, mm -hmm. and you don't know if you're good because the audience again is so many different cultures. Yeah. So right. the audience etiquette is so different. You have yeah. some people who ex who are excited. You have some people who don't say nothing. Yeah. You have some energy who's just woo, but then you have some people that are just looking at you and spectators and yeah. observing everything. Yeah. So it's so different. You don't know if you're doing a good job. You don't know if you're doing a bad job. You don't know if you sound great. You don't know what's happening. So you feel like, I want to go home. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, but having, having the solid team yeah. of people, you know, letting you know, no, you're doing a good job. This is yeah. perfectly normal. Take a breath. Chillax, you know. Yeah. So yeah. my first night, I was ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I can't do it. I can't. But you know, my people made it worth it. They make it worth it. The people yeah. that you work with. So, uh, any unique experience for you performed in here? Unique experience. Let me yes. think. Like probably some. Look at the question, like probably yeah. some woman coming. <gasps> <Joe, why not? laughs> You know, unique experiences. What happens is a lot of people come. Yeah, and you have you know, fun on stage. Every since I've been here for three months, and you every single night have been happy. <laughs> like every single night. You right. You right. Look, he ain't telling the truth. He ain't telling the truth. <laughs> and then.